When generating very thin or narrow shapes, like the spikes from these two multi-point stars that intersect, the shape's anti-aliasing might not be the best quality. We can see this if we zoom in on these thin shapes. Even when the image is displayed at 100% zoom, we can still see a staircase effect around these fine details. In order to get a higher quality rendering, we can use the multi-sampling anti-aliasing parameter at the top of the shapes generator. By setting this parameter to one time, the shapes generator will determine whether or not to display a pixel without filtering in relation to the adjacent pixels. This is useful if you want to create pixel art style graphics. Let's disable the hint and the selection contours in the viewer. By increasing the value of this parameter, we can get increasingly precise anti-aliasing. Setting it to two times, subpixel filtering will be used to create intermediate values. Each time, the density of the subpixels is multiplied by two to produce much better anti-aliasing. Going back to four times, you can see that sometimes the anti-aliasing isn't powerful enough for very fine details. Increasing this value, for example, to 16 times, will produce higher quality anti-aliasing, especially over time. The higher the multi-sampling anti-aliasing value, the longer the calculation time. But there isn't a big difference between 4 times and 16 times. In this video, we went over how to improve anti-aliasing when rendering shapes, especially when working with very fine details.